helicopter systems are still one of the most effective weapon systems on the battlefield. Traditionally, these are mounted on the ground, or some countries deploy them in armoured vehicles, which can be tracked or wheeled, and they fire through open hatches. The main disadvantages of these mortars which fire through the open hatch is that the crew are not protected by, from small arms fire, shell splinters or even MBC attack. So a number of countries are now developing and indeed deploying self-propelled turret mounted mortar systems. This particular one here is the latest one at the show and is from Poland. It is called the Rack 120mm 24 caliber M120K for Kylo. And it's based on an AMV chassis, which is the armoured modular vehicle, which was originally developed in Finland. This is manufactured in Poland to meet the requirements of the Polish army, and it's called the Rosomak. Well over 700 of these have now been delivered, and this particular one, they've just placed a contract with HSW. They are supplying the Polish army with 64 of these turret mounted mortar systems, and another 32 in the Kamhan post vehicles. It is armed with a turret mounted mortar which is breech loaded and it has 20 rounds of ready use ammunition with another 26 rounds carried in the hull. It is laid onto the target using a computerized fire control system that is linked to the Tallinn inertial navigation system and the global positioning system. The maximum range as always depends on the projectile and the charge. Typically it is about 7,000 meters using the standard high exposure projectile which can be increased to 10,000 meters with the new generation of ammunition. Maximum rate of fire is between 8 and 10 rounds a minute. It is fitted with a computerized fire control system and on the right side you can see the day-night sight which is very useful for direct fire engagements. Production vehicles will be fitted with a laser warning system and as you can see between the second and third road wheels there's a winch for self-recovery operations and steering is always on the front wheels. The front two wheels are slightly turned. Again it's got a central tyre inflation system for rapid mobility. So the Polish army has ordered the wheeled version and there also is a requirement for a track version which is called the M120G. And we have to wait and see what platform that could be. It could be a new platform or could be an old platform. But the first version to enter service will be this highly mobile system based on the Rossomac, which, as we said, is the Patria of Finland, armoured modular vehicle made under licence and modified to meet the specific operational requirements of the Polish army.